being a metrologist has three aspects. One is we're calibrating the weights of customers to make sure they're accurate. But another aspect of that is our measurement assurance. How confident am I in my weights that they're accurate when I compare it to the customers? So we got calibration, we got measurement assurance, and we also have documentation. We have to document everything that we do so that we can prove in court that our weights are accurate. Okay, we have three sets of standards here. These standards here were provided to us by NIST many years ago, and they are our standard. Now, we don't use these very often, maybe once or twice a year, to check our other standards. And our other standards are working standards, which are these standards here. These are the ones we use day to day to check uh, customers' weights. And we also have a set of check standards. And what we do with these is use them to check our working standards to make sure that they're still accurate. We have these calibrated by an outside lab about every five years to make sure that they're good. Uh, we set up control charts, Excel spreadsheets with graphs to watch the difference. We'll have some fluctuation every time you do a weight, it's gonna be a little bit different. But as long as they're within the control parameters, our measurement is we're confident in our measurements. So what this tells me is that this customer's weight is 10.58 milligrams heavier than our standard. Now our standard will have a correction factor too, so the actual weight after we do the calculations will probably be about five milligrams heavy, which is well within tolerance. Okay, each time I take a measurement with a check standard, I input that into my spreadsheet here and it graphs it out. It compares my check standards to my working standards to make sure that my working standards are still accurate. The working standards, again, are the ones that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to check customers' uh, weights against. We'll record the turning points and the calculations will give us the exact weight compared to the standard that we just put on here. A lot of the weights that are being checked in this lab are not only our standards that we're checking for ourselves as far as the Weights and Measures program, but are also weights that we're checking for outside uh, scale companies or other entities that do commercial work in the state. And the reason we're doing this, it's, it, the ultimate goal is for consumer protection. And so the one thing that we need to remember about the Weights and Measures program in the state of South Dakota is it not only saves consumer dollars, but it's out there for consumer protection.